party that takes place. <laughs> so, yeah, I gave it so to a cat. Yeah, but I'm, I need grilled cheese. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. do not it's hairy, not too. Yeah, I yes, mean, I is. do not, I do not hairy, but it's like, I really, like, need the cheese right now. Just some. So, is Kristen going to pull the dress right now? <laughs> Um, there's a couple people on Friday, so they kind of rotate. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, Catherine had to take care of yesterday, too. So her and Sandy and Carol mm -hmm. and I. But I took her twice, so I went home and I didn't have to come back. Well, you did that last week. You're hurting the ear. Yeah. Well, this is getting better now because I am not putting my feet together. So I'm not having to pull them apart and stuff like I did before. So that's helping, too. So. You got your ear healing. I've been getting like pains. They tried it first. All my medical expert friends are like, oh, it's probably carpal tunnel. I'm like, it's not carpal tunnel. My fingers aren't going numb. Right. I looked it up. I've envied it. Thank you very yeah, much. Right. I know. Good. Um, but it's some kind of nerve pain. Mm -hmm. so I was like, down to my finger. So like wow. it's exploding out my fingertips and then shoots up. Wow. So, but that CBD stuff that a buddy of mine gave me that has the THC. I have both. I have the regular CBD, yep. and then I have the CBD with THC, with. and that's the one that I feel like, honestly, within two minutes of putting it on and rubbing it in, it just it stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the yeah, it's the itching. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, it's the THC one that really mm -hmm. oh, yeah. gets it done. Yeah. So I bought my two. So basically, my wrist is hot. At all times. It's pretty much. Right. Uh. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Taking it down a bit. Yeah. So we're going to do another month on the current dose. And then 
um, if that can, if the pooping and peeing thing continues, then they're going to bump it up. I think there's going to be 20 milligrams now. They'll bump it up to 25, mm -hmm. and then we'll do a month on that and see if that little bit extra makes a difference. Mm -hmm. But I will say that he's doing much better. Good. Um, he's and I'm walking them separately, which also helps because the two of them would come back from their walk in the morning. And would be amped up state and stay that way until I left because all that adrenaline from trying to fight with each other when they couldn't fight with the other dogs for a while. Oh. So it, it's kind of been a you know a domino effect. So so it's it's been it like it's gotten better. Makes all the I'm not losing any weight. <laughs> my wrist, I told Brian this morning, I said my Fitbit has been going off between ten and eleven every morning lately. It's better, better than last week. Thank you.
Today's what? Today was 12? Yeah. So she was she went to foster on Tuesday. Whatever date Tuesday was. The 7th or 8th. I think it was the 7th. I think it was the 7th. So she came back the 10th, which was Friday. And then Friday, but I didn't know that she came back. And so I went and put her stuff up when um, the cat volunteer was telling me about the cat communications group that they have. She was telling me this, I want to say yesterday. And so when she told me that, then I went back in and I pulled her stuff up again on the, the app that I looked at. And then I could see she returned to shelter on the 10th. And then it says under intake, it says 310. And then under um, whatever the other heading is, um, it said uh, outcomes, I think it's called. And that one said that she, and it said 310.23 adoption. So she did come back from foster that day and she happened to get adopted. Mm. So, yeah. So I don't know what the, but apparently it wasn't the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or she was really. Yeah, if it was something really bad. But it, it is possible. It depends. So the way it's supposed to be, when when a dog is adopted from foster, even if it's the foster finalizer, as long as the dog is in a waiting and medical stuff that he's been stayed or neutered or something then it just goes from being in foster to adoption. But if they're coming back into the shelter, mm -hmm. they have to check them, even though it's just for the day, they have to check a foster back in to come in for their face surgery mm -hmm. and then check them back out again to foster. Because otherwise you don't have an accurate record of where that dog is when you possession the right. So when the dog comes in at seven o'clock in the morning, they're checked back in to pack. They're still listed as a foster, but they're checked back in to pack. So so that they're reflecting and then they put a kennel number of wherever they are in the clinic. And then when they leave again, they either check them back out to foster if they're going back into foster, or if they're finalizing the adoption, then they then it changes to an outcome. And then it's a total change. So it's still possible that that might have been what happened, but she was already safe, so that doesn't make sense. There's, there's more there that I can't see. Like when they adopted, you know, contacted this person if they wanted to adopt. Right. And, then and they brought him they back. Brought and him back and then yeah, it's entirely possible that's what happened. Hey, who are you yelling at? Nobody. Knock it off. Wants your attention. Nobody, nobody's in there with you. Because you're exhausting, that's why. Well, I hear all these voices and there's nobody sitting in here. I got one last week. Yep. You want to do a little bit of <laughs> She's like, oh, thank God, there's a person. <laughs> so they're, they're making more and more. Every time something else comes up, they're making more and more of a case for me. That, that topic is not good. Uh, you want to ask you? No, for one of their laptops, uh, account laptops. So I can't log into Camille and Lucas the system to use for everything for all of the files. I can't do that because we can only do that from a county laptop or a computer. Um, and then you have to have, because I have the credentials to get into the system, but the only way I can account for access to that is from the laptop. Right. You have to have an open all that for them? A what? Open. A token, it'll put it, it's like your home dialing up. You, you, it's still got numbers. Oh, and then I don't know because I, the yeah, only time I ever logged on was from, I could log on from my laptop at home, my county laptop when I was still at home. I could log on to that at home but and it would show it. that it was on a different IP than, than normal. Um, but you need to access that. But I can only too. access it from the county because you have to be in that whatever it is that they have loaded on, on, the, on the county laptops, whatever that is, you can't get into their system, into their servers, unless it's you know, one of their... So if you got that access, what would you need? Like what kind of information? Did you have a question or anything? Uh, I'm just looking at okay. leashes, but then I saw that bungee, the purple. So this is a pretty swift lead. Have you ever, do you, are you familiar with them? I am, and I can't find anywhere to buy them. Um, <laughs> Amazon uh, Mendota um, is one of the better brands on Amazon. Um, 
there's also um, there's a company called Max and Neil. Mm -hmm. Mendoza. Yeah. And Max and Neil also have the, the all the collars and I use you know, they come up from shelter and want cholera. The ones I use here are the um, if you go to their website right here. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. So if you go to their website, um, he's a really cool guy. He actually lives up in the Phoenix area, and he started doing what he does um, to help. Uh, uh, anyway, there's one up in Phoenix. He works with them while it's turned into a separate whole website now, and they give um, they give donations to. They send out a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of donations to rescues all over the country every year, and they like they do it monthly. And so I get a box from them. That's where all of the happy donation, uh, happy adoption days, that's where all of those, every time they send me another box, I get another one of those. Um, and they send us collars, leashes, all kinds of stuff.